Dorothy, wait a minute. Louis, will you ask Mr. Esmond to come back to our dressing room? He's sitting in his usual place. Right away, Miss Lake. What's the rush? He's not gonna run away. I know, but I just can't wait. For what? Dorothy, didn't you notice? His pocket was bulging. Yeah, that could be a bag of gumdrops. No, it was a square bulge, like a box for a ring. I think he's got a present for me. You know, I think you're the only girl in the world that can stand on a stage with a spotlight in her eye and still see a diamond inside a man's pocket. Good evening, Mr. Esmond. Won't you, Gray, come in? Thank you. I'd love to. Hi, Gus. Good evening, Dorothy. You were wonderful tonight, darling. Simply wonderful. You were magnificent. Thank you. You were good, too. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Gus. That makes me feel all warm inside. <gasps> Mr. Esmond! Is it the right size? Oh, they can never be too big. Do you think it's too small, Dorothy? <whistles> Looks like it ought to have a highball around it. I mean, does it fit your finger? Yes, it fits perfect. Daddy, I bet you made me the happiest girl in the world. I don't know what you do, honey, unless you use Novocaine in your lipstick. Daddy. Daddy. Huh? May I tell Dorothy? If you wish. Dorothy. Hmm? Mr. Esmond and I are going to be married. To each other? Of course to each other. Who else to? Well, I don't know about you, Gus. I always sort of figured Lorelei would end up with the Secretary of the Treasury. Dorothy, guess what? On Saturday, we're sailing on the Isle de Paris. Isle de Paris. We're going to be married in Europe. Well, why not get married in America and then go to Europe? Well... Or is that the old-fashioned way? Well, we've made our plans. Uh -huh. Come in. And... Mr. Esmond, long-distance call for you. Oh, dear. From Dayton, Ohio. Well, thank you very much. I'll be right there. I'll... It must be Father. Oh, I hope nothing's happened. I, I'll meet you at my table, dear. Father. Never misses Gus's old man. Right on cue. Too bad, honey. Nothing's going wrong this time. Lorelei, the old boy is not about to let you commit matrimony with his son. I think he'd rather shove him down an elevator shaft. Dorothy, I'm sailing on Saturday with or without Mr. Esmond. And I'm not coming back from Europe until he comes and gets me. When we're in France, where his father can't phone him twice a day. Well, Gus will never let you go alone. Sometimes Mr. Esmond finds it very difficult to say no to me. Well, that's very possible. 